Well, it's only Wednesday, but Southern Pinellas beaches are already starting to get crowded. Two huge festivals kicked off today. And tonight, traffic anchor Sarah Finney is on Treasure Island. Only about three and a half miles separate the two events. St. Pete Bike Fest is on St. Pete Beach and Sanding Ovations is here on Treasure Island Beach. Ten world class sculptors are competing against each other. That competition begins today. Jonathan here has won in the past and he can't tell us what he's sculpting right now. It is a mystery for all of the sculptors between the two events. Organizers say 100,000 people are expected to be around here, so it's going to be so busy and we need to get you here the right way. That's why Meredith, one of the organizers is with us. Meredith, what's the best way for people to get to standing ovations? Well, uh, we do suggest coming out early. Um, for Saturday and Sunday, we have a shuttle running from the golf course. It's $2 per person. Children are free and that will be running all day. We also have a lot of local parking here for the next couple of days before it gets really, really busy. But my best suggestion is coming out early and staying all day. It is going to be so much fun. Thank you, Meredith. The fireworks Saturday at 10 p.m. If I'm yes. not mistaken, yes. perfect. OK, we need to talk about the other big event happening just down the beach. Let's take a look. I want to show you this information. Most bike fest events at trade winds on St. Pete Beach are also free, but you'll have to pay for parking. Motorcycles will cost $10 per day. It's first come first serve. Organizers are urging people who do not have a motorcycle to ride share. I'm told cars are not allowed to park on the property during the event. Both events are going to be drawing some really big crowds, especially on the weekends. So that is when you should expect Gulf Boulevard and the parking between Treasure Island and St. Pete Beach to be be a little tough. At Treasure Island Beach, Sarah Finney, ABC Action News.